Hi, Terry here again. Um, I picked up a, a book, really a booklet. It's a thin one, but it's one that I wrote three years ago on retirement reimagined. Um, I looked at people retiring around me and considered my own retirement, which started early. And I wrote it about the time that um, my dad was living into his 90s. So I'm thinking, wow, at that point I was close to 70, so I, I could have another 20 years in retirement and in relatively good health and so on. So, And I looked around at people retired around me and I thought, a lot of them, the way they're retiring, I don't want to. I want to reimagine it. So I started studying and reading, and it's amazing the flow of people that's saying, I'd like to reimagine the second half of my life, to, to live it in a fresh way, a, a different approach. And um, as I researched for it and wrote it, um, I came upon the word maximize, which makes sense because when I take uh, any kind of a personality profile or a strengths profile, um, maximizer comes. I like taking what is and maximizing it, making it um, more effective or maximizing its potential. So I wrote this booklet with the idea of maximizing retirement and what would that look like? And I generated, I, I came up with, um, probably hard to see, but seven different areas, seven different areas of my life and anyone's life to maximize. So during retirement or when there's more spaciousness to our life, it's maximizing our health, our physical health, our emotional life, our heart, our mind, maximizing our self maximizing our morals and our faith. So I thought, I wrote that and I looked through those and I thought, hmm, a lot of what I teach or write, I look at later and go, eh, I'm not so sure I could do better. This is one of those that I look at. I had a lot of people help me with it and um, look through it and edit it with me. And I look at it and go, those seven still make sense. So I thought I'd do an assessment with you through these videos of how am I doing and help you think through a little bit for yourself. What about each one of these seven over the next weeks? What would it mean to maximize my retirement? Or if you're not in retirement earlier on, what would it mean to maximize your life um, wherever you are in your career life or family raising? Would it be, how, how could I maximize? And I like the term maximize because each one of us is unique. We have a friend who is very limited in their physical um, options right now. So what does it mean for them to maximize, for example, their physical health? It's probably different from ours. It's certainly different from, you know, another friend of ours that's um, running marathon. That's another level. But maximizing in our situation how could we do the very best that we can? So well, starting off with um, maximizing our physical health. To get to that page a minute. Maximizing our physical health. What would that look like? And how am I doing? Am I doing what's reasonable? Am I following my own advice? When I wrote this after doing all the research and reading um, literally hundreds of articles and, and research and so on. And I had ideas for expanding physical health, specifically thinking about the retirement years when there's reality. Things that I could do 20 years ago don't make sense anymore. How do I maximize it? And here are just some ideas that I wrote down and get off your butt and do something physically active. Another way of saying that is move, keep moving. So to help us do that, and I have a pedometer built into my iPhone and it tells me how many steps I take per day. So 
my goal is to have at least 5,000 steps. And if that means walking around our complex or going to the gym during the winter and walking around the check or getting on a treadmill or whatever, 5,000 steps to keep moving. Get enough sleep, but no more than you need. For me, I recognize that I need about seven, six to seven hours. Others, eight or nine. So finding what my body needs, and I'm pretty careful about doing that. Join a gym that fits our interests. And we have joined a gym, and we have a personal trainer who's helping us get started in it and so on, monitoring how we're doing, making sure that we're doing it well. We have the financial freedom to do that. Others might go online or take a yoga class or whatever. Join a gym and don't wait for symptoms to show up. Ah, I wasn't doing very well of that. And, and when we lived in California the last couple of years, especially with COVID, we weren't getting checkups. We, um, we procrastinated taking care of some things that needed to be taken care of. But since that time, I, I seem to have a doctor's appointment about every other week, doctor or dentist or specialist or whatever, getting caught up, staying ahead of things, hang out with healthy people, okay? making sure in our friendship circle there are people at least as healthy are, as we are in doing these things or more so than we are. Learn how to cook and eat better like making sure that our main meal of each day is made here and learning to cook in a way that we can maintain our health and so on, which is the next one. Discover what a healthy weight would be for, for me and then go for it. Um, so I talked to a doctor and did some looking up and so on and found what my range is. Here's my range. And like this morning, I was right in the middle of that range, which meant losing about 20 pounds over the last six months. So simple health kind of thing, maximize it for my, for my um, age and my body type. Then I wrote, find a healthy level of stress, enough to stimulate me, but not over stress to harm me. So it's making sure there are things in my life, being taking some classes or engaging with people or um, like I'm building up my workshop so I can start building more things, be it toys or whatever. We finished some display cabinets. So it's, it's, it's setting goals for some things. So just intentionally building up some stress, but to a very healthy level. So it's not sedate, not overstressed. Um, treat any physical problems that are there, illnesses, um, and recognize that if there's a setback, there's a new baseline maximize from that point, which I haven't encountered yet. Read books and articles on how to build physical health. It's now online. You can simply Google, you know, physical health for seniors, um, physical health and aging. There are all these articles just to, to keep learning. Unwind and relax with something new. Um, trying new things, but relaxing that way and recognizing that's part of the physical too, to not get an overrut. Take up a new hobby that involves physical activity, like um, hiking or at the gym, joining a class or whatever. So those are the things that, some ideas, maximizing physical health. And I look at that and think, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. This is not one of those, so probably in the other six, I'll look at one and say, this is the one that I, I'd like to invest more in. I'd like to boost that area. But physical health for me and what I'm doing, especially in the last couple of months, last few months, I feel good about it. How about you? Are you maximizing your physical health? That doesn't mean trying to become physically healthier than you can be, but it's taking the reality of where you are right now and say, are there some things that I could do proactively to maximize uh, my balance, maximize my endurance, maximizing my cardiovascular, if that means getting checkups, if it means taking care of something that you've been ignoring, or for me, maximizing my physical health means um, we're right in the middle of where the third dose of COVID vaccine will be available to us. It's doing simple things like getting that third shot, that booster shot. Or the other day we stopped in and we got our flu shot. Um, and Target actually paid us each $5 to get a flu shot, which was 
pretty amazing to maximize our potential for for health this this coming winter. Or doctor said should get a booster for my shingles vaccine. So we'll do that in the next couple of weeks. So it's what could you potentially do to ward off harm, to check on things that might not be symptomatic, but just get ahead of things, to physically stay active, to build up your strength. And studies show that at whatever age, no matter what your physical condition, can, there's a good chance you can increase your physical endurance, your physical strength at whatever age by up to 50% or more just by doing simple things. So think it through. First of seven, we'll look at the other six over the next weeks. So think about reimagining retirement, putting in the word maximizing. Talk to you next week.